when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Alright, man. Uh, it's early. Probably still got eye boogers in my eyes. It's about 6.30 a.m. right now. 6.38 to be exact. Uh, went to sleep at like almost 3 o'clock. Today, we're about to be dropping off the C5. Uh, getting that thing over to Saxby Shop. That way, Ray could do it once over. And I think tomorrow, my tuner should be there to uh, retune the C6 and to get a, a bass tune on the C5. Uh, we got Cody on the way right now. Cody said that he was gonna be, he's like, oh yeah, man, I'll be there late at like nine. I get up to take like a morning poop and I see Cody posting, talking about, oh, Mike, Mike tow service on the way. I'm like, huh? I hit that fool, he's like, oh yeah. He was like, uh, I got fire inspection coming through today, so I gotta, uh, I gotta get back, I'm like, it would have been nice to let me know you was gonna be at my house at 7 a.m. So. For all my, my C5 people, hopefully this is it, man. I know Brett's been doing his best with this thing. Uh, we went back to the machine shop. It's just been a bunch with the C5. They they did custom push rod links and everything. We're doing, we did the, the lifters that Saxby shop wanted. So, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna see how the C5 does, man. Uh, I still hear a little ticking, but we gonna we gonna see. We just gonna at this point we're just gonna cross fingers and pray that this works out for the better, dude. You pulled up in the white boy truck. Pulled up in the big white boy truck. Hey, this looks like my truck just lifted. Man, had to upgrade, you know? Do the upgrade, get the diesel. Man, we traded at Q50 for that. I was like, what? Fuck I went with the deal. I was like, we traded a $5,500 car for a $15,000 truck, okay? Hey. I was like, damn. Tow rig, sold the S14. I was like, man, I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> More useful than anything. Oh, you bought Santa Claus, yeah, bought aka Santa. Master Roshi. Yeah. Master Roshi! <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> Pretty nice neighborhood, you know what I mean? Hey, yeah, my neighborhood, quiet. Okay. My neighbors are all cool. On the block. Got this thing up here now. Definitely a little, a little task. All right, so I'm just pulling up the Saxby shop. Cody was driving hella slow, so I left him. Vits, Vits. All right, so we're gonna chill right here until this full Cody gets here. I'm tired, so Let's see if I can get a little, a little quick nap. This car actually fits you. I can like literally picture you in this. I already had two of them. I can picture you in it. This fits you. Black. Straight black man mobile right here. 
There you go, boy. You can, yeah. Native. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm going to catch you, bro. Hey, you smooth, cousin. Yeah, be safe in these streets, bro. You know, niggas be out here. Hey, niggas be out here hating when you riding like this, though. You feel me? Yeah, niggas be hating on niggas. You feel me right here, bro? When you out here on sixes and see you out here winning, bro? I'm trying to tell these niggas, bro. Yeah. I'm going to the phone to phone them out. You feel me, niggas? I feel it, bro. You look like you got it, though. Can I can I hold can I hold a hundred real quick, though, bro? Man, I'll see you later, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and Cody Boas <Yeah>. arrived. <laughs> so it turns out, uh, yeah, Jason's gonna be coming today. You ready? Yeah. All right, brother. I thank you. Go get some stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For so, what? Man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Anytime. Don't people. say anytime, cause I break. I break down a lot. I mean, anytime. <laughs> so anyway, we got straight some shit up on your channel, though. Everybody been saying I've been like secretly dogging you about the truck not running and stuff, and that's not the case. I respect Mike a lot. So uh, I don't. All that I don't, shit got a hand. I don't pay that no mind. Hey, I do. You know the. You know the vibe. I do. You, you know, know the vibe. Man? Like it's just it's when you read it and you're like, really? you see you see those comments like everybody else on heart. I see that one. I just like ah eh, skip over it. Like whatever. I know. It's just the point. So I read that stuff too, and I'm like, man, really? Why are you messing up the vibes here? Ah, I don't, I'm so, not tripping. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm cool. So we good. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. All right, boy. Get something to done. You know, hey, hold on. Which one? Home. Which get one? Get uh, on. uh, there we go. <laughs> see, man. Much love to Mike. All and right, I Master Roshi. Okay, I'm found. That's Master Roshi time. right here. I'm gonna do a ride along video with him. But it's gonna be like, oh, I'm giving a ride to oh, Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z. My dad's down for a ride along. I'm down. Yep. Fuck it. I'm he's down. What's fast and what's not. He's been some fast yet. He's gonna be like, man, this thing's a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Back right. in my day, we had a 454 <laughs> with 500 shot. <laughs> Never know. A bucket with no handle. <laughs> <laughs> like gravity take it down the, down a hill. Yeah. He always asked me when I was a kid, hey, is that thing got a handle? What do you mean? He goes, you can flush that turd. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Always messing with me as a kid. <laughs> Soon there will be no more 6k limiter, no more handicap. 61k. <laughs> so yeah, man. Even though Ray is a complete a-hole, he is still one of the best vet techs in the area. So got no choice but to deal with this lame nigga. <laughs> but the moment I find somebody else, though, y'all already know I'm about to be. I'm gonna be out on this nigga. You said you were going to Brett. Brett gotta get a shot first. Then I'm out. Are you? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Are you, <laughs> Are you really? I, I gotta go. Are you really? <laughs> Every time you come around, it's for money. Give me some money. Give me some money. Give me some money. Pay this tab. Man, Write down you receipts. <laughs> Busy as shit. How about yourself? Dude, the back of your neck is so smooth. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Let me breathe on it. Make you nervous? Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm just waking up. I actually had fell asleep for for like an hour or two, or whatever. Took a quick little nap. Uh, my tuner just got here. He the one who actually had woke me up. So uh, I think we almost about ready. Ray's about to finish up uh, the booster pump. 
instead of using it off the hop switch i think we're gonna run it off the map sensor because it just needs a five volt source so i think um, that's gonna be the plan for that we're gonna confirm that with with jason and then after that the c5 should be uh, or the c6 should be ready to kind of get turned back up all right so jay's in his favorite car of all time right now that's not true <laughs> make me do this aren't you All right, so right now me and Jay about to go around the block uh, just to drive it around. For some reason, my freaking wide bands aren't working at all now, so uh, we're just gonna drive it around, see what we can see, but probably need to come back and recalibrate the wide bands. But right now they're just showing peg lean and it has like a weird sputter, so we're gonna drive it around and see what we could, uh, what we can do. All right, so a uh, few days have passed by since uh, the whole little thing with the C5. Um, we're supposed to go drive the car around I ended up like just leaving the shop that I was just so annoyed with that car, man. So, uh, yeah, man, the C5 is literally just being the C5 and it's probably like the fourth, fourth time or so that we've been dealing with this thing. So, uh, right now I just got, uh, Saxby shop focusing on the C6. That way we can finish that up. Um, my tuner Jason, he was there yesterday to do the uh, tuning on the C5 and the C6. Uh, the C6, we weren't fully uh, done, but now it's looking like everything's on route to get back together. Um, and it's fine, but the, the C5 is just like a different story, man. Uh, currently, I got to have them kind of just go over and start checking stuff. Uh, first thing we're going to be checking is the wiring. It's just been, it's just been a nightmare with that car. So... It's like 1 a.m. I'm just getting home. I'm tired. What you still up for? I was gonna go to bed. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, C5 just been a C5, but I don't know. I don't know where we kind of go from here. Um, you guys probably heard. Uh, it still sounds like it's having a little tick, but that could be exhaust leak. Not fully sure, but. Machine shop guarantee that the motor and everything is 100% like good. It's in spec. Brett said that he double checked it before assembling it. Machine shop made sure the custom push rod links and everything were correct. So uh, I think uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say whether we're chasing. I don't think we're chasing anything going on with the motor. Um, it could be next best wiring. We're going to check some wiring because uh, my fuel pump ain't cutting on now. So. It's just, man, no. like, this car has just been, ugh. No. Mm -hmm. So, and another thing, too, is like, man, I don't want to get into the whole diagnostics part, so I need to talk to Alex and see uh, where do we go from here? How do we how do we work this? Because last time I spent hella money uh, diagnosing that car. I spent like 12 grand, uh, literally went there for to get the motor swapped uh, swapped in but after them having to check um or pulling the uh, the trunnions off freaking uh pulling the transit stuff back off because it was possibly a rear main seal after all that diagnose uh, diagnostic work and rechecking the, the engine and pulling valve covers off and everything next thing you know tab went up to 12 to like 12k so i'm, I'm not doing that again so uh, if it's something to where it's becoming a pain and they can't see if it's uh, possibly wiring related or something else going on, then I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the car from the shop and uh, uh, I'm gonna have to figure it out on my own. But Come on. yeah, I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to pay like a hefty ass tab like that again. Like I'm not I'm not doing that again. Like just diag work and like I ain't doing that like that. <laughs> I'd rather let it sit in my yard before I before I do that again. So. Got to figure out where we go from here. So, uh, just need to kind of sit down, talk to Alex, see 
what's the what's the what's the game plan and what are we looking like on on the um, uh, as far as like labor like are we uh, like I don't know I just don't know how, uh, how to go about it just yet you know Alex is cool that's my that's my boy so overall we'll 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 come to agreement and figure something out uh ready cool people so you know if it was an issue or anything with, with Saks P shop or something like that then I wouldn't be I wouldn't be going there but I love the whole team over there everybody's cool um you know everything gets taken care of so it's just one of those things where it's like we kind of got to figure out what's going on but the problem is I don't know where we start and I don't know how we go about uh go about it this way because yeah it could be uh it could be wiring and if it's you know something comes up that's wiring related then you know I had uh I had them redo the wiring harness and stuff so that's something they kind of got to check on on their end but uh we still don't know where the ticket's coming from so we can't rule out that maybe maybe a lifter or something maybe we got a bad lifter off the batch or something but lifters are all brand new they're the uh the uh, recommendation that Saxby uh, shop uses was just the Johnson's. Uh, these are T-bar style, so there's no lifter trays or anything like that. So, you know, it's just uh, it just sucks. I mean, we don't got a bunch of hands in the pot, but there's still more than one hand in the pot. So it's hard to kind of figure out a game plan on which way to go with it. But eventually it will get done. I'm just like right now, I'm like I'm I'm not spending that much money on that car again. I'm between the between the, yeah i ain't even gonna get into how much i've spent between the c5 and c6 in the last month and a half but just know i'm not i'm i'm, I'm not doing that again just so yeah i'll keep y'all updated in the loop uh like i said it's one o'clock i need to go in here i still need to edit the other the other video y'all gonna see so yeah let me get in here and start editing so The C5 needs like an exorcist or something. Y'all can probably see it in me, like super tired. And I gotta wake up early to drive, and it's gonna be a long, long, long weekend. Mm -hmm.